So today we're going to make a pair of earrings. Um, I'm picking some colors here. I'm actually picking the four colors of the medicine wheel, which are red, yellow, white, and black. Uh, and what I have here is a, this is called a fish hook, and that's for the earring. It's called a fish hook. This is an eye pin, and it's called an eye pin because it has a little eye on the end. This is a head pin with a little head, so beads don't come flying off the end here. And the charm that I chose today is going to be a feather. So I'm going to start by taking my eye pin and I'm going to open up that eye a tiny bit. So just a regular pair of needle nose pliers and I'm going to open up just a tiny bit and I'm going to add my feather charm to it. Wrong glasses, Cindy. There's the hole in this end. I've got to open it up just a little more. That's okay. Oh, there's a hole in this end as well. Oh, very little. Okay, and I'm going to close it up. And you want to close it up really tight because I don't want that feather to fly off of here when my earrings are swinging around. So there we go. So I have a charm right there on the end. I'm going to add some beads to this. I might not even use the head pin today. I'm just going to add the beads right to the eye pin. So I'm going to take black first. I always love red against the black, and then the white, and the yellow on top. And the yellow here, can you see that? And I'm gonna take, these pliers also have a little cutting edge to it. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna snip. Now when you're snipping a wire, always hold it away from your face. I try and point it down and away, in case that little piece of metal goes flying. And I take these pliers that have a rounded edge and I'm just going to grab the end and I'm going to put my finger nail right on top of that. I'm going to pull it towards me and I'm going to make a loop, a nice tight loop. Perfectly round because my pliers are round. That loop that I just made there, I'm going to open it a tiny bit, just enough to get the fish hook in. Not enough. I'm going to open it a little more put the fish hook in and again when you close it off you want to close it good and tight really really tight because I don't want the beads coming off and I don't want the fish hook to leave so there we go that's whoops that's how easy it is to make an earring